The morning. Some people's been to your house. Yeah. Ah. Some people's been. Have been. You happen to ah. be the one to come to my house. <laughs> Wait, Saul, have you been to Max's house? Yeah. I've never. Oh. You had to pick me up. To your house. <laughs> Fuck you. Hear me, Mag and B. Hey. One, two, three. Ah. Some Are you talking okay. about then or now? They've always been. What do you That's mean? a trick question. No? <laughs> oh. Trying to catch you up. Trying to catch me up. Yeah. Didn't the lady send you? Yeah. <laughs> Sharela, it's if I'm kissing. And then I'm on, I'm on Sharela and I play. You need them two pizzas, man. One for each. Yeah. <laughs> no, she must grab the pizza. <laughs> the fucking... Drop the pizza. Fuck the pizza, grab the pizza. No, but wait, I need to, we have to do two. Because because we're recording today, we have to do two intros in case the box win okay, and, and if they lose. Mm -hmm. So this one is if they win, eh? Okay. Go on. Come on, ready, two, ready, three, ready, sound rolling, and action. Yeah, boy! We are the champions! We are the poker! I'm a poker poker! You're a comedy poker! I'm a poker poker! Feel it! We are the champions in this year! I can do Philippe! But Philippe is a French name, so yeah, it's Philippe. Yeah? yeah. What a game, bro! Oh, bro, bro, wow. the boys did it, wow. man. Crazy, bro. We defended our, tile, uh, our title. Defended our title, so many records have been broken, you Sia know? Sia Colisi, captain once again. Sia Colisi, the, the only captain to ever defend yeah. this thing. And I don't know if he's the only captain to win it twice. Maybe not. But to defend it, he is. And so many other records broken, man. Mm. Uh, do you think he's retiring? I would. You know, you must always go out on, on top, bro. Mm. Yeah, true, 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 true. If I were here, I'd just also say my name and go, See ya. I'm out of this motherfucker. <laughs> Quit, uh, while, while you're at the top, right? <laughs> nice cut, by the way. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. AdSense clocked in, so I had to get a fresh cut. Uh, how can you? Aren't you giving the money? Oh, no, 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 that's that's different. Oh. That one, that one, no, that one is is membership. Oh, yes. the, oh, membership the headset one. Oh, okay. oh, it only buys a haircut. The headset. Hey. It don't make sense, right? They must add more. <laughs> Fuck it. You see, look at what uh, viewing the ads does, guys. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, chillers. Okay, cool. Let's start. Let's do now. If they lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we must post them both. Okay. So. Intro two. Come on, ready, two, ready, three, ready, sound rolling, and action. Oh, boys. Hey. Yeah, no. Oh. Ah. We're so close. We're so close, guys. We did well, nonetheless. That's in us fucking listening. It's that case of Chiefs, the New Jersey. <laughs> that case of Chiefs, New Jersey. Listen to my part. I mean, who. Why didn't they start? I love Chiefs and I've got it. I couldn't, I, I didn't want to wear it during the Rugby World Cup, you know? Because it's a losing team. Yet I'm a colors of my yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. So close. Yeah, I know, but shout out to the Springboks, man. At least they got to the final. Yeah. Shout out Something Buffalo yeah. Father never does. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Exactly. Well done, well done, exactly. well done. Well done. Exactly. Well done. Exactly. Shout out to the exactly. Crown Boys. Exactly. We're proud. We still We're love proud. you. We're proud, man. We're proud, man. Did you uh, actually care about this World Cup? I did. What do you mean? Remember? For real? Out in Bloemfontein in the field there, yeah. in the middle of a cricket field, watching it on my phone. Oh, yeah. I feel like a lot of black people didn't care until like we got to the uh, quarterfinals. I think so as well. Knockout oh, stages. yeah, they were never vested, right? Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. fair enough, you're right. And a lot of people didn't even know, don't like know what's going on, but they just yeah. know when the final, it's a big deal. And shout out to people who bother, you know, to do that. Because even like my woman, remember, I was struggling to log in. Because at home, we don't uh, uh, use a decoder. We just stream even on the TV. So remember, I was struggling to watch. So you're the reason DSTV is losing money. Ah, so. Yeah. Mm. No, no. Dude, I pay like premium streaming package. You know, you, got, you don't have a decoder. Yeah. But wait. Oh, my man, I've got Wi Fi. Accelerate Fiber's got. Yeah. 
Okay. Dude, remember when you came to my house and we watched the game Banyana Banyana in the morning? Some people has been to your house? Yeah! Ah. Some people no, haven't! Been. You haven't ah. you know how I come to my house! <laughs> Wait, Sol, have you been to Max's house? Yeah? I've never! Oh! I, 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 you had to pick me up! Your house. <laughs> Fuck you! I've never entered his house. Thank you, Kanye. I've been there to pick him up and at first they didn't want us to see the house. <laughs> <laughs> we're them, this nigga was picking them up at the gate. Now lady would come drive. I'm like, why, why can't we just go into this house? What's the big deal about this house? You know, so I'm lucky to know the pavement. <laughs> we need to review this friendship, Jeep. Nah, this friendship needs to be. And to people think it. like, hey, make a nice. When a woman are away, we share a bed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? But you lala in me. But they have a come spell my mom. What do you mean, Uku Pumek? But anyway, as you were saying, yes. Yeah, man. What was I saying? Uh, DSTV, you were Yes, TV. yes. So my woman, and, and I was like, oh, I'm trying to watch. DSTV telling me no concurrent. I'm thinking she's watching the nonsense she normally watches, you know? Housewives and all that stuff. Yeah. Gandhi, no, she's trying to watch the rugby. Mm. So she's one of those people. As soon as people heard, hey, we're in the semis. Yeah. They started, you know, like how oh. when you're chilling like this, you play games and, yeah, you, yeah. and you sit, you know, uh, you you pay attention now. So a lot of people has been like that. And it's beautiful to witness. Yeah. Yeah. It was my first match I watched with uh, England also last week. Yes, you see, and you didn't care yeah. much for it, did you? You just knew it was happening. Exactly. But Titi was right. Whenever the country's divided, the Springboks bring us together somehow. Is it? Yeah. Always. Always. Yes, yeah. think about it. Mm. No, actually, I remember Titi was saying was against the Springboks are winning because then we'll forget about our country's issues. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we need so, that relief. So wherever Titi is, he's happy now. <laughs> Ish, yeah. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Anyway, and now, uh, what do you mean? Yeah, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Sopaduk is here. Uh, uh, Black Studio is here. Yes. Doodoo's here. Mm. Tato is here. Uh, Fat Checker is here. Nero's here. Uh, yo, Ghost Lady is here. <laughs> Simpio is here as well, yeah. man. Yeah. So I've got a song <coughs> I want to release. Nice. With Sy Sykes. Oh, yeah, Sykes. Mm. Saka Candy Babies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. E-plan. The E-plan. Oh, yeah. Yo, guys, good, most fucking hell. So, I wanted to have a three-step remix. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I called Biggs and I'm like, yo, Biggs, and please speak to Taksin. Yes, um, yeah, yeah, he's like the godfather yeah. of three-step. So, ask him if he can do a three-step remix. And he's like, yo, man, you got to join the queue. Everybody's calling him right now. Wow. Like, he's the most wanted producer in the country. Makes sense. Like, Major League is calling him. Everybody's calling Makes him. Makes sense. Everybody wants a but, beat. Yeah, Morda's calling him again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Morda hey, more takes things... Nakala, uh, chul. Nakala. Hey, so if you tell him my inbox, that's time I'm going to tell him I'm taking your message. Let me be Yeah. And you know what I mean? Just because I, yeah. I, I said, I think Three Step One last, you know? Yeah, yeah. And he makes great music. But yeah, he's the most sought after guy right now, bro. And everybody, because it doesn't slap the same when it's not tugs in on that yeah. Three Step. And I wanted him even last year, bro, before anybody knew about Three Step. Whoa. Uh, I, I wanted to, I wanted him to do the remix of Nkantin, a Three Step remix. Yeah. But your old manager wouldn't wouldn't give me the vocals. Mm. Ask no, no. Who introduced you to three step? When last year, remember? Last year, yeah. Hey, hey, my man. Hey, it was gonna snap, man. My three man. step. Oh. Hear me, man. Can beat. Hey. One, two, three, three, three. Some see some along the beat. Hey, oh, boy. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I asked him so many times, bro. Why don't you just call MJ? I mean, MJ's still around. And I didn't have MJ's, MJ's numbers at the time. I didn't have them at the time. Oh, snap, bro. Yeah, man. Could have just inbox. I want to talk about Instagram. Could have just DM. <laughs> like, literally, they could have just DM them and be like, yo, Cantini, want to do a three step thing? Uh, Cubs are dropped. What did you think of Cubs? Cubs are dropped. Um, it's Simo, right? Mm -hmm. There's a song that I want. It's called Imitanda. So. Yeah, he he doesn't miss. <laughs> ah, no one cares. Oh, Jessic dropped. No one cares, bro. No, the guys are saying it's dope. The guys are is saying it dope? they care. Oh, okay. Black I've studios been... care because black is brown. <laughs> <laughs> black studios. We see you. Oh, brown studios. Oh, when you. Oh, when. 
When they shoot Jazz's podcast, they are brown studios. <laughs> Yo. When they hear that black studios, Yo. black is brown. How, how's the project though? How's what is it? A project or a song? Oh, oh wow, album. an album. Yeah, wow, album. okay. The Jazz has got a good ear yeah, generally. Yeah. Like he's got a very good ear. It's an album. It's a good one. I won't lie. Yeah, yeah, it's generally as I mean, Halala. Halala was Jazzic, man. How? No, that was Melon Sleazy. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is, he's got a good ear because he picked the song oh, yeah, yeah. on his project, okay. on his compilation. So he's a good NR, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very good yeah, NR. Because like, like, he found, he found Just Maroto. Nine nine. Yeah. Maroto. Maroto. Lady Do. Lady Do. Mm. Basta. Basta. Mm. Zenten. Zen 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 I mean, yeah, he's got yeah, a very no, good no, ear. No, NR, but I give it up to him. Oh, also someone else who dropped. Mm. Was Benny Panasi. You know who dropped with Benny Panasi? Yeah. Devon Gogo and Tutu to, to, Tatu the Human. Oh, I don't like that track, man. Yeah, the, the, the Satisfaction remix. I like the beginning when it starts. And then after the break, when they bring the Satisfaction part, it just sounds like noise. It's not satisfying. <laughs> hey, oh, I wish I had. It's his words. <laughs> man, I'm just shout out. Well, yeah, right. shut up. well, I wonder when it starts, the drum pattern. Yeah. Fire, fire, poison. Yeah, yeah. Then by, by, when, uh, by the break, ah, they lose me there. It sounds noisy, man. It's free. Yeah, it's, 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 it's one of those loud club songs. But I but played it at a, at, at a festival. Yes, yeah, it's because it's like yeah. a baseball. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Festival. Shout playing. out, man. And also, Aries dropped, man. I listened to hey, the album. Since he started following you, you suck his dick now. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, hey, man, but your Aries drop. Someone tagged me and I go. And it says Aries Instagram. It says follow back. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Let me listen to the album, man. I hip hop a dog. Oh. Hip hop. Oh. I'm walking around with my pants down here. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to Aries as well. But did you listen to it? Um, I did, but I only listened to it once. You're lying. And right? I feel like an album. No, I'm not. I, here's my Spotify. Okay. Let me see. And I didn't listen to it. Where where can you go on Spotify where it tells you? Um, search. You gotta search. Search. Just search. No, no, no. Bring me out. Oh, okay, it. cool. No problem. But it. I listened to it like when it dropped, bro, last week. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> no, for real. Okay, okay. Proof. Here, here, here. Yes, The last one is Isimo Kabza. Let me Kaba Canel and Boys to Man Water Drunks Ride. Boys to Man, my friend of our. Wow. Like this funny guy, I mean, no one's a call. I love Pala out Boys to Man every time doing this song for Mama. Um, no, there's a song, one of my favorite songs, in fact. He's got two songs with, um, with, with, with Manifest, the Ghanaian rapper. Quite dope. I, I did listen to the album. Don't get me wrong, bro, I did. Um, oh, man. There's a song, yes, there's a song with Java. Bro, I, 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 I did listen to the album. You, you listen to it as well now? What, what did you think? He's a big Aries fan. Bro, when do so. you get time to edit? I mean, they just dropped today, all these. No, no, no. They edited no, in no, silence, no, remember? No, no, now it doesn't sleep. Oh, they edited in silence. <laughs> yeah, you know, Black Studios walked in <laughs> in their makeshift studio when we were out at uh, MacIver's uncle's lodge and they were editing in silence. <laughs> well, we're kind of seen, though, but they're not listening to us when they edit us. Yeah. I don't know how you guys do it, man. What do you mean, dog? Why well, you guys were editing in silence? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Eric, nah, bro. Nah. Do, do it all. Oh, editing in silence, these guys. They were playing like. But they do a good job, nonetheless. That's when they listen to So they watch the episode with us when it goes live. Yes. Yes. And they are shocked. But how? How? What is Brown Studio? Ha! Ha! And then when there's no sound, but I need one again. Hey, hey, these boys. Oh, they blame it on some people. Yeah, they blame it yeah, on some people. Always. Always gonna blame it on the sound guy. Fuck it up. <laughs> Speaking of drops, dog, do you, do you still... Wait, think... we're still with Aries, my dog. Oh, shit, sorry, oh, sorry. Aries. I, I personally think that's his best project ever. Whoa! Whoa. From all the mixtapes and... and Shout out to Aries. That's his best project ever. That's, that's what? Personal. Yeah. Wow, I gotta listen. I, I, I feel like I need one. to listen. Yeah. Yeah. I saw on Spotify, there was a song with Blackie. Yeah, he has the, yes, the song with Blackie. Is. There's a song of uh, Java and Sh Shekina. Oh, There's a song geez. of Manifest. Manifest? Who songs yeah, with Manifest, boys? And also... 
Joey Fett, né? From, from USA. Mm. Yeah, she also has a song with Joey Fett from USA. Wow, no, you're going to go out and say it's Aries' best? I think so. Body of work. All the mixtapes and the album. That's crazy, That's bro. And this guy doesn't even push, bro. He just sends out a, a tweet. Done. Yeah. That's that it, man. Yeah, it's got a following. He reminds me of, like, a Kelvin Momo, you know? Uh, like... He'll just do his thing, drop whenever, but because of the consistent work throughout the years, you know, and 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 the quality has been consistent. He's just gathered a crowd, uh, a cult following. What did you think of um, Kabza? Oh, with Kabza, I haven't I haven't gave it so much of a listen. I only listened to like three songs. Which which, which, which I think two were from Tunzi. Yes, yes. The one everything and, has and, been and the one with. Um, uh, Ala Khan and Young Stana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are the ones. What is that? What's the name of that song? Uh, Which one? M- Tandas, I think. Oh, Tandas. So the one with Angmuzu Sizo Ala Khan I think he's the one doing the cross. The, 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 sorry, the Shangan part. Oh yeah, he is so, yeah, Tonga. Yeah, he's Tonga. Yeah, 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 he is Tonga. Funny enough, Gubo cover his Tonga, ne? And Gubo be buying some makota. And then someone told me now, Maparisa used to make cotas, Gubo. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's that's that's my favorite song. Uh, uh, me too. Uh, 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 is it an EP or an album? What is it? Uh, I think it's an album. How many songs really are there? Sure. I'm not really sure. It's about ten. Ah, it's album. It's album. It's album. Ten songs. Eight but songs, eight songs, but eight songs, eight everything else album. was like lukewarm for me, man. It was just sounded. Tunzi, Average. Yeah, to me, it, it's a joint album with him and Mtunzi, mm-hmm. right? And Mtunzi is it's got a very Afro pop sound. By the way, he's an amazing musician. Uh, we've got a song uh, that we're doing together uh, at Wulo Studio. He's amazing. He's a singer, producer. Guy's good. Like he's got a great. Is that yeah. the new wave? Because even uh, <clears throat> Paul released uh, a project with. Man Express on all the Oh, yes, I see. The, the one songs. with Mama. Is it Mama? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called. Um, I forgot the name of it. Will you just check the name of, of that EP or whatever it's called? But uh, is that like a new thing? Because normally, I agree, producers used to partner up with other producers and release music. So yes. now you partner up with a, a vocalist. No, I think some, yeah, maybe it is. I don't know. But I think, I'm assuming it, it, it comes about organically, you know? You come to my studio, we do one song. Finish it. These guys, pro, piano guys are prolific, man. They'll do five songs in one night, you know. But and I mean, but but dog, Stu using G the same six songs, using the same vocalist on each song, it's an overkill, bro. Because right. I mean, track one, you're like, oh, Tunzi sounds nice. Track two, you're like, oh, Tunzi is dope. Track three, you're like, okay, I get you. Track four, you're like, ah. track six, you're like, oh, man, I'm Tunzi. Oh, uh. but, but, but. It's a thing, man. It's like, but the vocalists release albums. We don't have a problem with it. Like yeah, the but, they, but they release different sounds in the album. So there'll be oh, a song where it's laid back and there's a piano song or a dance song yeah. or Afro pop song. So it sounds different. So you're hearing Tunzi, but in different versions, different forms. Mm. Here, it's just like the same one long song. Okay, well, that's that's valid. Mm. That's valid. But I think I'm still going to drop. I don't think this is the drop for the year. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the, the, the stuff with Ukabaze like a Korani. Ukabazne Vugani Ma Africa. Oh, so there's still more. With Msaki, you Ah, perfect. So with Vugani, with Msaki, there is um, Kabazela with Mashudu. One of them is going to be top song of the year. Yeah, possibly. Oh, no, that's exciting. Yeah, I yeah, this yeah. Was, this, no, this is not the drop drop. Ah, lovely. Uh, I nice think this drop is one of those. Like, you remember that drop we did with Liza Sateven? Konin uh, Teng Ale, yeah. Yes. I think this is just one of those drops. Because ah, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Cubs. I'm a huge though. fan of Cubs. Bro, he's the king. And everybody's he looking is, at him to, 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 set the, to set the, like, where the sound is going. Man, but the pressure, can you imagine the pressure? And he probably doesn't feel it, but damn, bro, like, to, to call yourself the king and back it up consistently for how many years now? That's brilliant. And Wait, even, are you talking about yourself or Kabza here? Oh, damn. <laughs> wow, you considered me the king? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Of podcasting, of podcasting. Are uh, you the king of yeah. podcasting? <laughs> okay, we're the kings, we're the kings. Oh, the kings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dope. Not of the weekend. <laughs> No. That would be spec- a spectacular laugh <laughs> if you said that. No, man. Like, yeah, but hey, comes up, bro. It's just comes up, bro. What's f- you know, comes up, bro. Ne? Like, what is mind boggling about him? Right? It's what's scary about him is his work 
he's super talented, like super insanely talented, but has a work ethic that even surpasses the talent. Which is dangerous. That's scary. Fucking scary. Because a lot of people are as talented as Kabza, but don't have that work ethic that he has. They just tweet when they're releasing. Wow. Oh, no, I'm just saying. No. I'm just saying. But what do you mean by that? Like that his I mean, I mean, Kabza, I mean, Kabza is like a one in a million talent. Yeah. Right? And that's huge already. That is scary. Right? But he's got the work ethic of an untalented, hardworking person. Because most, is, most you, people that are untalented are hard workers. Yes. Oh, okay. And then most people that are hard yes. workers... But Kamsa outworks really everyone. Talented. Exactly. And, and he's more talented. He's more talented than everyone and still outworks everyone. That's crazy. That's like actually. Michael Jordan kind of yeah, dedication. Right, Kobe actually. kind Fucking of yeah, yeah. dedication. Lewis Hamilton kind of dedication. I never thought about it like that, but you're right, that dog. scary, bro. It's super scary. Like, like, you know, fuck, bro. This guy is that good and it's that... He lives in studio. Mm. Oh, so he's constantly just oopies in the studio. He's probably making a beat now. Yes. As we talk. So... You in don't silence. Be for his talent. Don't be scared. 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 Don't a gang load of millionaires and I, I don't think there's any music genre in South Africa that has created as many millionaires as Piano. Obviously, ever. the timing. Ever. Ever. Piano. They are, are quite the didn't because a lot of them were signed to the majors to begin with. So, mm. there goes their money. Yeah, they got right? screwed. Mm. Just signed, period. A lot of them. A lot of these kids are not even signed. Some of these kids who are signed are still millionaires, I hope, from gigs. You know what yeah. I mean? When you look at how far. Shout out to Dali Wonga. He dropped an album as well. Dali Dali. Yeah, that's old news, bro. We spoke about that like two weeks ago. Did we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was Were you listening to the podcast in silence or something? Uh... I was doing it in silence, boy. But Kuluma went possessed. Did we talk about it? Yeah, we did. What we did, did we say? right? I think so. We what said he we dropped, say? and that's it. We said it. Oh shit, shame. Yeah, but it's a nice album. Um, but yeah, bro, there definitely wouldn't be as many millionaires. I I don't know, bro. I can't tell. Where, right? where do you think the future? Um. Regarding um, the piano artists. I... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, regarding them, yeah. She's listening silently. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm listening to Soul. Are you with us, today? I am, I am. What are you looking at on your phone? No, you no, actually, I'm, I'm be, I've been wanting to say big up to uh, Robot Boy. He won at the um, uh, Trace, Trace Awards. Awards. Yes. 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 Africa Trace Awards. Yes. 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 And I was with him during the week. Uh, he was telling me about Rwanda. Dog, we gotta go out to Rwanda, man. Oh. Okay, okay. Kigali. Kigali. Ah, What's going apparently on in Rwanda? Beautiful. Apparently, it's beautiful, yeah, bro. Like, it's Rwanda clean. There's no litter. The people are chilled. The energy is right. Like, it's just a. It's an amazing country wow. that we have to go see. Yeah. No, let's go. Because yeah. I've always heard about Rwanda's cleanliness. Like, ever yeah. since we're in primary school and how they turned Fuck. that whole country around after that civil war they had. By the way, next year we want to do an African tour. So if you're a promoter Ooh. and you are in Africa, you're a chiller and you want us to come there, please uh, email our events guy, Jason. Because um, I think it's time we hit Africa next year, bro. It is. Shout out to Tiffany. I met a girl that just came. Her name is Tiffany. She's from Namibia. And she was asking when we were coming to Namibia yeah. as well. So I think that that's just would be brilliant. Let's yeah, do man. Africa, we want to take Ooh. the podcast to Africa next year. Make sure you email Jason at thisismacg.com if you're a promoter from Africa. Want to come, man. Want to come. Yes. Everywhere. 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 It doesn't Everywhere. matter, Everywhere. bro. Slaughter a goat when you get <laughs> in every country, right? Why are we slaughtering a goat? I don't know. Just... Or anything. I don't know. Anything. Slaughter goals. Vibes, yeah. yeah, yeah, there's slaughter goals, you know. You want to be with the people. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. So what do you think about Beyond Artists? Where do you think they'd be without? No, no, I agree with that thing that it has it has literally like brought a lot of millionaires. Like, because at first when you spoke about it, I thought, ah, but didn't quite do the same. But actually when you put it as nah. people who have been working independently, ah, right, guys. But don't you think the if they jumped and... to another genre, they'd still be millionaires? Who? These artists, like let's say Foka did Afropop. Before he did piano. 
No, no, no. Now he would because no, no, no. Fucker, he built his foundation on. on no, no, no. On, I'm saying yeah. if there was no piano, right? Yeah. So let's say piano didn't exist. Mm. How many name the millionaire pop artists in South Africa? Yeah. Okay. I mean, not that we know all these piano artists are verified millionaires, but we are assuming. I mean, Focus got jackets of worth two hundred k. Oh yeah, because piano is an Come export, and all these other genres really aren't an export to that level. Apart from being an export, bro, guys are just millionaires from even gigging locally alone. Let's be honest. You know, they booked. People are streaming their music. The environment is ripe for that kind of stuff. Even if piano was quite, if everyone was was independent still, you know what I mean. Back then, that disposable income people had for music and entertainment versus now, it's worlds apart. So if Foka introduced himself as a pop artist, I don't know because who would the market be for that? Remember See, the market the- for pianos everywhere. Remember there was a time every five minutes a chick was getting raped in the country. Now every five minutes there's a new female DJ. You realized? Oh yeah, who's the latest? The latest is Gogos Cotin. Yes. Think those stats have changed though, but anyway, continue. The rape stats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, still, still a sad state of affairs yeah. uh, regarding that. Gogo mm. Mawen. <laughs> Is that a bad example, guys? Very bad example. Is that a bad example? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, but it's, I don't literally mean it. It's a joke. Come on, guys. No, no, it's literally... Ah, don't you guys ah, have a sense of humor? You, run you shouldn't have said it's a joke, man. You know, but yeah, I, I got the, the, the... Why is everyone so analogy. serious? No. Ah, uh, can you have some grandeur, man? You're too serious. Oh, okay. I got the energy. Yeah. Come the on, energy. guys. You don't think I actually mean it. Come on. No, I don't. Like, literally, do you think yeah. there's a female DJ now? We've been talking for five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, there so, is. So then it makes sense then. <laughs> then the joke is good because it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. There's, there's female DJs there's every someone year. Someone who's been told. But truth be told, equally, there's also male DJs like every five nah, years. Nah, 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 nah. There's more females. Nah, there. nah. It's a bad time to be a male DJ. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst, bro. That's the worst, yeah? What do you feel about that, though? Um, I feel like the more the merrier, man. Let, come, let's DJ, you know, just... Do it and do it well. Um, Pearl Tusi also, I saw her get lessons. In fact, I saw when she bought her sound system. Wow, um, she's at being sound- a DJ now. Yeah, but shout out to her, man. She literally, she went to a shop called Sound Select, bought a my top i2, um, bought really good CDJs and a really good mixer. That, the lady stuff, you know? Um, I think it's that money from the... <laughs> Yeah, that's the money. That's the tourism money. <laughs> but she spent like over 100k on the Which equipment. Which tourism money? The one that was trying to sell a Makanguba in them, bro. Pearl was there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but it's whatever. What, what she does with the money is. But I'm saying please shout out to her. Hey, uh, please, fetch a type that. Let's see. Shout out to her for. Pearl in- sees chowing Zim money. <laughs> <laughs> put it like that. But shout out to her for investing in her craft. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I saw that. and uh, What does the- it say? Let's hear. Let's hear. You don't know. She was there endorsing uh, Zim to come to Zim. It's a beautiful country. Is this recent? Yeah, and people were complaining though that, ah, but with all the injustice, how can you do that? Is this hey, man, year? I mean, it happened saying, huh? It happened this yeah, year? Yeah, like a few months ago, few bro. Months, okay. Yeah. How much did she charge? I don't know. Obviously, maybe they paid them. Uh, I don't know, man. SARS is sending out SMSs, bro. Hey. I, I, I can't not be saying. <laughs> can't not be saying. 300,000! Then Saz will send me how do you know? Were you part of it? <laughs> Can you read that article? What does it say at the top there, Pet Check? Can you see what it says at the top? Okay, cool. What does it say? Just to put context, I'm not sure of the amounts because it does not show the amounts, but it states that she's um, responding to the backlashes against the allegations of her visit to Zimbabwe. No, so it's they, not allegations. So it's they fact. paid her to visit Zim. Her, Silamakangube. Who else was part of that campaign? No. Sonia Mbele. Shame, man. And she's sick, Sonia Mbele, man. I hope we are uber right. I mean, she's going through the most. She's not, she's ill. Um, who else? But I don't no, get what's wrong BBL, with that. Bro, didn't, they, didn't they get paid for an appearance fee? I'm not saying it's wrong. People complain. Why? It's, it's, she, that's how much she charges. Oh, because you know, like the whole. 
No, no, like people complaining that, you know, the whole thing of, ah, but you guys know what's going on in Zim. And then they even took Sila uh, uh, uh quotes from when we interviewed him of him saying, um, when someone sells their soul for money. Um, so people are just saying, with all the injustice but that's not, happening. But, but he's Zim, not the president. Exactly, Zim. though. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a, he's a, he's a yeah. celebrity. People want to book him. Yeah, they paid the fee. What's wrong? Yeah, and he's feeding his family. And look, I'm, 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 I'm agreeing with you. I'm mm. not. I'm just saying people were saying. Mm. I Me, mean, all I was saying was people are weird. Man. Yeah, all I was saying. Shout out to Pearl. She, like, I was just. It's a joke that maybe it's the money from there. Oh. There's the money from there. I don't know Pearl's bank account, Pella. Yeah. I'm pili wuyo. How, Pella? You know, wow. so guys, what we're explaining our jokes to me. Ah, come on. You know, what? no, because all of us are not getting them. <laughs> now you're acting like I'm, I'm saying she must have gone to Zim. <laughs> They're in silence. I'm like, no. The jokes are in silence today. I'm like, no. I didn't say she shouldn't have gone to Zim. I'm saying. Maybe it's that back from Zim, but she invested in her craft. Yeah. And uh, that, you see, when someone does that, they're taking their, sh their shit serious. Look, my opinion on female DJs is, come, come, let's DJ. Just put some efforts, you know, in what you're doing, you see. That's it. Otherwise, none. You know? It's like if some people are like, well, they're setting up podcasts and then they set up a podcast and then uh, the audio is not them speaking, you see. It's like, then why do it if you're going to disrespect the craft like that? You know, yeah. so just do it and respect the craft. But guys, do we fine. still get that? People who disrespect the craft. Aren't people now a bit knowledgeable and, you know, have they mastered the art of DJing? At least they've got the master. No, pieces. the people don't care, man. People exactly. don't care. People just want to hear their favorite song. Exactly. So yeah, if you can sure. play people, the favorite people song. People don't care. No. Because if people didn't care, they wouldn't take videos and, and shit on, on people, on DJs, on Twitter and wherever. Do they still no, do that? No, Are they taking videos of people there not dancing and looking like this? Or is it just that one person who cares takes a video, but people are still dancing because exactly. they don't care? Yeah. Because it still sounds good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> I and <laughs> I man, how? Why don't you DJ, Ghost Lady? <laughs> Fuck, you'd be booked for days. Yeah, ghost Lady, damn, yeah. Wow. Just put on a mask. Put a mask, ne? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll do a pre-mix for you. Okay. You I'll see? just put my album. <laughs> <laughs> From That's one. how they all know that it's a ghost <laughs> <laughs> But would you do that? Oh, she's good. Oh, well. I would. You would, ne? Yeah. It's easy money, though. DJing is like the easiest money do it. on earth, bro. Imagine getting paid 20k to play and I think music that's for an hour. Exactly. And know? that's why we're seeing a surge in the numbers of DJs popping up. Um, yeah. Particularly females, because you guys have the advantage of looking good. Yeah, And exactly. sometimes you can use your body. Yeah. Yeah, you know, to... No, DJs are dancing. Get ahead. You know? Bro, with piano, why is it always the same subject, uh, subject matter? Like, they're always saying the same things. No. For example? Yes, yes, no. I am Nandilento. <laughs> <laughs> no man, dog. It's always it's always Aba Panzi. Then it's always paying Lobola. And then it's always bring back the Lobola. And then it's always all of them, dog. And then it's always Makhelan. The neighbor is always uh, 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 he's always jealous. The neighbor. Ah, that happened with that. Uh, it's our community, that one. It's in our community. Yeah. That one who grew up knowing it, you know? Yeah. Those who grow us grew up uh, like in full I'm school in Matasi. Oh, yeah. the there's a neighbor, there's a neighbor on the And there's always a song of vuling somewhere. I'm a song of vula, always, somewhere. Because it speaks to what you were saying of where would the country be or the youth be without piano. Yeah. Piano is in Chile, in Pilo Zabak. Hence, halala. Now it's a vulila masango, in Pilo Chile, right? And then when they have money, they're always drinking sapuza. I say sapuza. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nandi, you know? <laughs> But it's something that's part of piano culture, you know, like drinking, lives being changed, <laughs> guys building their mom's houses, and they always sing about those kind of things, you know. So, I guess it's art imitating life, bro. It's it's. Oh, you put it well, yeah. Yeah, it's art imitating life. People, kids are gonna sing about what they see and what they experience, you know. No one sings about a place they've never been to. Oh, yes. Or things they've never done. Ooh. Because you can't tell a story of something you haven't done as well as telling a story from experience. What's your song about? The Lonely know. Nights. It's about me being <laughs> DJ. It's about, it's about me It's about me going out DJing and my woman, I can't even answer calls because I'm busy with the DJing, oh, you know what I mean? And, 
You know? And yeah. then when the music stops, everybody goes home and I'm all alone in Pumalanga. Wow. You know, then I'll come back home on Monday. Wow. Lonely nights. We're shooting the video. Oh. We're shooting the video on Wednesday. And shout out, you know who's paying for the video? A chiller. Oh, oh, no way. Yes, way. Whoa. How do you get a chiller to pay for a video? Huh? No, man. So the guy's got a business. Avendas.co.za. He sells like gadgets and stuff, right? So he inboxes me. We've been talking. He's actually booked this before for an event. Um, and then... He's like, yo, bro, I want to, what's your rate card for social media and stuff uh, to post about my work and business? And then I'm like, okay, cool. Let's link up and then we'll link up. Um, and then because there's some stuff that I want to do as well that he's actually good at, you know? And he's like, I'm like, what's your budget? And then he told me his budget. And I'm like, actually, for that budget, as I, instead of me going on social media and posting and then that shit gets buried after 10, 20 posts, you can literally find a video oh, and then your stuff, so your products will be in the video. Oh, that's so smart. Fuck you. Yeah. And then it was like, Damn. oh yeah. And I was like, yeah, it lives forever. Damn. It's on that's TV. So sick. It's on YouTube. I mean, yeah, guys. Hey, you're giving me ideas now, my man. Ah. You can shoot a video every week, Moose. Yeah. <laughs> Then you almost find the video. Placement. Guys, then you almost find the video. Yeah. Oh, that's you know? smart. Yeah, bro. so you raise funds like that, man. Yeah. Fuck anyway. That's, yeah, so. So on. Uh, uh, speaking about music, man, did you see uh, Papa Penny's uh, interview with uh, Brad Dave? No. I haven't watched it. Is it? No. There's there's a, a scene there where he's talking about how hard it was to date snow bunnies during apartheid. Well, what he did, married what? a white lady, didn't he? I don't know if he married, but he he no, chowed a couple. It's a lady, not a white. It's like, it's like I think coloured, I guess, um, from Mozambique, Mozambique. And how many kids does he have? Please Google how many kids Papa Penny has. My Papa Penny's got a lot of kids. Bro. Are you for real? Yeah, man. I if he had a penny for every kid, he had, <laughs> he'd be a millionaire, yeah? <laughs> Papa millionaire. <laughs> but check out, let me, let me send this to you so you can play it. Mm. How many? Check out the one play. Um, oh, we've got a TV screen here. Yes, he has 25 children. 25? 25 kids? Bro. 25 20. children. According to the citizens, yes, he has 25 children. Wow. Can you play with the audio come out? More than one wife, yeah? Clearly, uh, not, no one wife is popping out 25 kids. Yeah. No, no, and he so wanted more. And he wanted more. Is it? Because in the interview with Pradev, he's like, I should have had more because I've had sex more than 25 times. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Technically, it's not a great feat to have 25 kids. But having 25 kids and taking care of them and raising them, yeah. now that's an achievement, you know, so... Yeah, I sent it to you on, on WhatsApp. Number, check. Just play the video for, for, for Soul and Ghost Lady. The fact that he knows the number, I'm assuming that means he was involved in all these 25 How many kids, kids you want, bro? Raising. Uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I have one, I'm fine with mm-hmm. the, just the one I have. But I wouldn't... I don't, I, I don't know how many I will have or want. I know I don't want more than three. And you guys need how many do you want? Three. We we are still saying uh, settling on three, so there should be one more. But Mnaga is not here. I asked you. You said well, we. It, yeah, but remember, me and Mnaga are one. So every discussion is, you know, it's, it's us together. So we've hey. agreed on. And check out those your WhatsApps. What's going on there? So if you are one, quick can question. You see, can you see for, for, for adulthood. For Who's to Melo? Love hearts. Come on, Dumelo. Hey, hey, check out your WhatsApp. <laughs> There's Cape Town Girls. <laughs> wow, Cape Town. Whoa. Mm. Bo Adulthood. What is that? Is that a group? Yeah, Bo Adulthood. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, fa- whoa, whoa. Scroll up, scroll up. <laughs> Cape Town Girls Trip. Oh, yeah. You're, you're going on a girls trip. Oh, you're going on a girls trip. Girls Trip. Girls Trip. Cape Town. Ooh. Boy Adulthood. Go to Boy Adulthood. What's happening yeah. there? Search. Go to search. Search dick. <laughs> go to see something. <laughs> We want to see something. Yo, 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 yo. We just want to see something. Yo, 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 yo. We just want to <laughs> check something out. Hey, Tato is in I silence now. <laughs> Tato is in. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, let, let's play. This is Papa Penny. Cool. Can you guys hear? We must not stand together. Hey, yeah. Start, must started from scratch. Then... I think you started... A bit later. Carrying the space. luggage. Yeah, there we go. And the, in the reception is, we must not stand together. Hey, hey. She must book and then carry in the luggage and then go. Mm. It was much better than that time, but uh, 
outside of Joburg, it was a very mm. problem. In the same night, we have enjoyed. Mm. Tomorrow morning, we'll go yeah, back. Enjoy it, just like Ringo. And then, uh, so this was just a holiday. Holiday. Yes. <laughs> After that, she said to me, I'm pregnant. Ay, yeah, yeah. Oh. You're pregnant? Mm. I said, now it's a problem. He said, now, oh. not going to kill me. <laughs> and a lot of my friends who laughed by white girls in those days, mm. they killed them. Yo. Baba Ngunda was just cut the brakes mm. of the car. Yeah. Hey, so and they get involved in an accident. Yeah, in the train. Mm. Uh, some that just take them and tie them and throw them in the, the hall. And I, remember, I think about four, that's one I sure. know. And then I was a survivor from those things. And then... So it never came out that you had a... They have chased me. I remember when they started to know. Now I was strong now. Mm. Uh, I started to realize that break dance 1980, mm. 1981. Is she still around? She, she's still there. Mm. I remember when the stepfather found us in the corner town. Yeah. They beat over Shambok for near half night. Beating her? Yeah, why you love a kafur? Sure. You come just slap of kafur. So. Mm. I know what Gwed, Gwed was working the mind to Montage. Montage. Yes. And then uh I, sure. That's crazy. That is man. ugly stuff, man. Eh? <laughs> hey man, that's ugly, man. Imagine getting Shambok to kill just because you're in love with someone and mm. they happen not to be the same race as you. That's disgusting behavior by some white folks. Have you have you ever dated a snow bunny? A white honey? Mm. Nah. You've never? Nah. I don't know if bombs a lot of them. <laughs> oh yeah, into, you know, you know so sad. Yeah, type. like I'm into thick girls, bro. Yeah, like a lot of them type. don't have a lot of them don't have bombs, bro. I'm into thick girls. Everyone knows this. Oh. You know this, Mac. Yeah, no, I had a I had a snow bunny phase, man. It was great, man. Yeah. Oh, they chilled. Man. But I'm assuming pussy's pussy. How was the sex? It's the same, right? They wild, man. They wild, bro. For real. Yeah. How? Like, what's what's so different, guys? Yeah, like... It's the same, I guess. No, nah, like... <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. They like to experiment. What did she do? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, it was a long time ago, my man. But I'm married How now. you yeah, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No one will hold it against you. You were young. <laughs> I have been shot a video, eh? We had like a lot of snow bunnies in the video. Nice. What did you do? What did she do to you? Nothing, bro. How did she experiment? I can't remember. What's the <laughs> hypothesis of the experiment? I can't remember. It was a long time ago, bro. Do you feel like about? a victim? Victim of what? Oh, okay. I was enjoying. Ah, make a fool in a goodie, so ne? Eh? So, Sabah, since when have you been economical with the facts? I'm being, I'm being honest. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. You don't, there's no ways you don't remember an experiment, bro. The experiment, like, something happens, you know, you lose your roof or something. Those are the kind of moments you remember in life. There's no ways well, they tied something you up. fun happened. It was the first time and you forgot it. And it's sexual. Ah, I feel like that. too smart. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do, bro? Nothing, dog. She eat your ass? <laughs> yeah, she ate the ass. <laughs> she ate Mac ass. She ate Mac ass. <laughs> Have you ever dated a white guy, Gosling? No, I've never. How come? Um, I really love dark skinned men. And you just I uh, it's already like light skinned men don't really I just I've never liked light skinned So guys. I'm the only one who's dated a white girl. Oh, I've not had no were. desire to be honest. Yeah, yeah, what did you think? Ah, nice, nice one, my boy. I know they're rocking, yeah. They're rocking yeah. as much as you say. They like, rocking, they like yeah. to experiment. Yeah. 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 I've dated all races except China. Hey, funny China, man. Uh, no, China I've bought. I didn't date. Bro. <laughs> bought. We had some, but I'm like, nah, man. I'm not gonna buy a black girl. <laughs> I haven't had Chinese before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indian, Indian Chinese? you've done an Indian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've done an Indian thing. You child the Chinese dog. How about no man? And they strict. They strict. I'll get a cut. Oh, man, come on. 
<laughs> but but you know, dating a white chick is dangerous, dog. Because when you break up with her, the, the chat is like, um, my dad owns Standard Bank. I'm going to freeze your account. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> their dads own everything. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> so it's always tricky when you Don't have to break up. Yeah. <laughs> and when you break up, does it feel like, how how is it? Does it feel like, or it's just a normal breakout. You know, it's not a matter of, yeah, yeah, my family didn't even approve of you kind of stuff. Mm, let me let me just fix my mic. Spirit, how's the white girls? Mac doesn't want to tell us, man. It's the same, right? You don't consider I'm assuming. Yeah, I kick it, kick. Kick it, kick it. Oh, God. Hey, man, I didn't say kick it, kick I just said they're more experimental. I mean, maybe you're talking about then. Most. You know? okay, most. Are you talking okay. about then or now? They've always been. What do you mean? It's a trick question. No? <laughs> oh! Yeah. Trying to catch you out. <laughs> trying to catch me yeah. out. Yeah. Didn't the lady send you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 is it true that Musa Kola is in prison? Hey. Or is it, are there just rumors? I don't know, it's man. I saw someone start shit on Twitter. I think they were trying to start shit. But it's not verified. Mm. We don't even need fact checker. Oh, try it, fact checker. But it's not verified. That is behind bars. But didn't you say you know him? Man, so? No, Musa. Man, I don't know people who kill people. What do you mean, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where do I know Musa Kauna from? Uh, at some point, you're trying to, you're saying, no, he would want to come to the show. You're like, you are busy chatting with him. So he comes He through. asked for my numbers and hit me up. That's before he started causing too much okay, shit. Yeah, let's call him because I was, I was going to suggest. Oh, let's okay. call him. Yeah, actually, nah, I don't think I still have his numbers. Let me check. This was like two years ago, maybe. But if he's in jail, you won't answer. Man. So that's Spotify it's still open. I don't know why. Mm. Um, what does it say? Musa Kaula has been sentenced to 15 years. His number. Allegedly. Allegedly. Ah, allegedly. This is from, this is from uh, tweet, advocate bro. Barry Rue. Yeah. Musa Kaula has been sentenced Barry. to 15 years for the murder of his ex boyfriend, Wandile Kambule. Musa boyfriend. confessed to totally stabbing his ex boyfriend, Wandile. Currently, Musa's Instagram account is being managed by Inomuro Long. Wow. Inomuro. Bro, how do you stab someone until they die? Like, at some point, like, don't you go... Hey. You must be very angry. Yeah. Yeah, something... If you're able to stab someone like that, and it's not self-defense or anything, there's something, man, part that's dead. That's just evil. Yeah, yeah, there's something true. dead inside of you. True. To be able to stab someone, stab. plunge Yo. in again and stab... And stab with all the blood gushing Ooh. out and continue to stab. Damn. That's I mean, nuts. I get like slapping. Yeah. Which I'm not condoning, but I mean like stabbing. Stab is something else because it's graphic. There's blood coming out, you know? And if, if that doesn't make you go, whoa. And imagine the other so person, they're in down. pain. They are screaming so or whatever. Like, just don't you have a heart? Yeah. Yeah. It says that he confessed. So why isn't he in jail then if he confessed? I don't know. Well, we don't know if he's in jail or not. See, I'm going to be caught. It's because he stated that it was self-defense, so oh, they're still in jail. But please do note that everything that's being said is from Twitter, and it's alleged. Yeah, I mean, you can't yeah. trust it isn't concrete. Okay, check isn't. when last did he drop on his YouTube page? Let's we check. Can't call him because hey, man, call Mesh. Mesh records for him. Yeah, I yeah. Call Mesh, yeah let's man. call Mesh. What, what is this, guys? Yeah, Mesh was speculating. Me. Call Mesh, and I bumped into Mesh this week. How's he doing, man? Yeah, he's doing well. I mean, he's shooting the stuff for the Neo. Yeah. Yeah, he's working. He's doing well. Oh, he does skim GP as well. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. He does skim GP. So, yeah, he's working. Hey! Wow, Black Studio hey. says, hey, remove this part. I wonder if we're going to see this part on the show. <laughs> oh, no, they, 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 they edit in silence. They edit in silence. Not this show, though. Hey, not in mash. New stuff on you. Not in mash. New stuff on you. New lie. New lie. What is it? Are you guys ever gonna, gonna have a peace treaty with Mesh? Yeah. They can't because wow, the middle finger to come from wow, a, but the peace would need to come from both sides. Okay, if he humbly comes to you and apologizes for everything that has happened. No, wow. I say guys, guys. You see, he's saying on, you won't because he's, he's you guys, not uh, just get over it. Mesh is not built like that. He can't apologize. Listen, he's not that person. Damn, bro, he seems like such a cool kid. Yeah. But do you guys miss him? 
Yeah. These ones sound like bitter eggs, eh? Yes. <laughs> no, but when they tell me their side of the story, it doesn't sound like they can possibly... It sounds like they'd, it's more peaceful without, without him around. True. <laughs> no, when they tell me their side of the story, their it's side, and there's two sides. Yo, Mash. Yo, Mash. Yo, bro, you live on the podcast. Sol is here, Ghost Ladies here, and Black Studios. What up, Mash? Uh, hey, Mesh. Bro, what up, Mesh? Yo, Mesh. Uh, I'm live on the show. I'm yeah. with Jay here. Jay? Jason. JJ. Oh, JJ, nice. Oh, Jason. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, is Musa Kaula banned bars, bro? Uh, I don't know, hey. What do you mean you don't What do you mean know, he's your man? boss? Yeah, bro? you shoot for him. What? No, we stopped shooting a while ago. You, oh, you stopped? Yeah, I think Why? it's been three months now. Uh, uh, uh. Why did you stop, man? Personal reasons. Personal reasons. Wow. Okay. Do you miss uh, the old Melligan? Do you miss the boys? Nah. I think they miss me. <laughs> do, do you see yourself ever apologizing to the boys? For what? Hey! I see fun. I see fun. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, <laughs> The fighting head, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ghost lady, what you got for us, man? What you got for us? <laughs> Guys, aren't you concerned with um the fake foods and just what's happening across the country with kids like just erupting, like all of a sudden kids are sick and having to be rushed to hospital because of like when they call, when they buy foods from um your informal traders, you know, it's become a new like pandemic, honestly, right now. Haven't you heard? I've heard, but my thing is no one is forcing them to buy. Just don't buy. It's not easy, man, you know. But it's kids. There's though, people guys. there's it's kids and some households that can't afford that 10 rands to go to the nearest mall, be it Maponya Mall or Chris Honey Mall, and the bread they can get is by Emakuleni. You know? So I think we need we've all, we've always needed interventions. Uh, from government, uh, and we do have laws. Every place that deals in food normally has got a certificate of acceptability, right, from the the the, the municipality, etc. When you're dealing in food, there's certain practices and codes you need to follow and hygiene practices, but none of these things are being enforced. Yeah, it's meant to be inspectors that, yes, going food around. inspectors, yeah, you're right, yeah. Thank you. So none of these things are being enforced. It is worrying, man, because there's really poor people who can't afford you know, to buy at reputable stores. We can't afford to go to a pick and pay or a spa in all these places. And spas are genuinely meant to be convenient. Yeah. Because we grew up. It's cool. I'm a spa. Exactly. You know what I mean? Even for us kids, when you're for playing around, qua. it's not even bread. You know, I'm like, just maybe chips. Because sometimes these, these kids are buying biscuits that are like, I don't know, what's their laced with whatever, poisons. And then these kids end up dying, you know. So... Like, I, I think now in Eastern Cape, I think this happened between the last, um on Thursday and Friday, like almost about 140 kids who have been rushed to the hospital yeah. currently. Like, it's it's hectic. Eastern Cape. So can't the people in those communities come together and get rid of the, the, the people selling the stuff? We've been seeing videos like that. We've been seeing like communities coming together and like uh, confronting whether it's these informal traders just and, and closing shop. And obviously now, because th obviously they'll be threatened to that if you don't like literally because when kids die or anyone is affected, you know, the community is bound to come together and like try and something and intervene. But it also says a lot about, you know, setting up shop in a community and then you deliberately feed them poison. That's crazy. Yeah. Sounds like would, America. Yeah, because yeah, you wouldn't, that very same person wouldn't do that from in their community where they're from, where they oh, grew yeah. up. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So now to move to a total new area and start selling shit to people, that is messed up. Like you must say, that's what Africa. You know, that's what they do in America, bro. I don't know if they still do it now, but mm -hmm. if you check on Netflix, there's so many uh, documentaries, uh, movies, series about the opioids Drugs, and, yeah. pandemic. For real. Where like the pharmaceuticals companies, they knew that this is bad for the community. It's addictive. It's more addictive than heroin, but they just sold it for profit. Capitalism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ugly, bro. Bro, how do you sleep at night, dog? Yeah, and this is the why capitalism gets a, you know, a bad name from people. So the guy, whatever agency practices. is the one that's meant to say, no, this drug is bad and um, mustn't go into the yeah, market. Yeah, proves it. Uh, they bribed those guys. Like, it was a whole big Everyone thing, bro. Their price. And it's I started scary. thinking, what's the difference between that and the cartel? It's the no same difference. shit. No, no. It's just that one is white and dealers. legal. Yeah. And the other is... It's in the stuff, in things. Mm. It's... it's, it's 
It's messed up. So many people just make money from crime, bro. Like mm. crime, crime, crime. That's why there's so many. Like it's messed up, bro. Are they opioids in SA? I don't know. Please check there for us, Fed Check. Are they? Is it isn't our opioid, is it is it not Nyaupe? Nyaupe is an opioid. Well, I'm just saying it's a drug. You know, I'm just saying it it differs per country. And obviously, like names, you know. What does it say there? What does it say? I can't read from here. Can you can you read from here, right? Man, I'm bored. Let's go there. Yeah, that's a lot of. What does it say? It's like the periodic table it's a, of this state. You know. It says from 2011 to 2020, there has been incidents um, of opioid in South Africa, Whoa. and they've increased by 12 percent per year. Who's buying these things? Hey, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> But isn't it a certain ingredient? Okay. It's a certain ingredient, oh, right? Oh, come on. Yeah? Isn't it a certain ingredient? Like opioid. What do you mean? Isn't it a certain ingredient? Am I? Like with opium. Yeah. It's mostly fine with heroin, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I'm just saying it could be laced in, maybe it's it's a, it's a small po portion of it is. With opium. Your, my, it's like you cannabinoids. Know, your nyawube could be laced. Okay. Cannabis. Yeah, yeah. Cannabinoids. Yeah, 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 different cannabinoids, yeah. So maybe opioids is also like different forms of opium, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Because this thing is sense. meant to be a pain By hearing right? the word. Mm. So it's like grandpa. Or like Panama. Yes, yes. But yeah. with heroin. Jesus Christ. Imagine, bro. We are, we are becoming a mini America. Have you seen Kotas even? Mm. You've got all these kind of weird things now with prawns and... Prawns? Oh, there's everything in Kotas now. Ah. Peanut butter, fish. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting to eat like Americans. For real. I'm, 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 I'm a Kota, man. I'm a Kota, man. I'm a prawns. I'm a prawns. I want to Kota, I'm a prawns. No. Yo. The best uh, Kotas in Chawero. You've said. Yes. Nah, it's in Foslo, bro. We. First law, Emma Sanuk. I want Emma Sanuk. There's one that makes Emma Kota after he apps. Not that one. They make shit cotters there. Fuck it. What if they What if they've improved this? Emma Sanuk. They make. They are. Cut to death, Lapa. No, I tell you, cut that, Lapa. No, cut that. Not the poison. You're not poison, Lapa. I want to cut that, Lapa. You're cooking, you come here, Lapa. That's the first look. Ah, so. What if yesterday they improved their recipe? Just yesterday. You're going to wait for one hour for the cut there. And it's still those traditional nice cutters. It's not these things with prawns, mussels, burger patties, and no. It's just nice. Traditional, yeah, yeah, as a man, dude, we be so now we are forced to cook you. Did you ever talk to her, man? She's not even saying a word to you. Ah, Actually, me have talks. Who do I have talk with? How many people? That's what I told you, dude. Because she's letting me drown here, trying to explain Didn't this I have place. Talks with dude. What do you mean? Okay, please tell me how the talk would go, with dude. Eh, yeah, dude, you're talking too much. <laughs> the, the talk would go, eh, hey, dude. Ghost lady is uncomfortable. <laughs> with, with, with no, your, no, I think Michael said with Bala. Ever, with did ever, Bala call you? That's the question. Did Bala your, call you, dude? Hey, Bala is ever looming presence <laughs> on the show now. Uh, please tone it down. You know, you're a producer and you must not produce a sound. <laughs> oh, you wow. know the place, uh, firstly. But you, you don't know the name, right? Yeah, but they make really amazing cutters, man. Do you know why Chawera is called Chawera? Fuck the Chawera cutters. Do you know why Chawera is called Chawera? Uh, yeah? Do you know why Chawera is called Chawera? Chawero. I thought like maybe like Ah, you know what we're gonna do? Kesa, you know what we're gonna do, dude? <laughs> I'm gonna go get a quarter from my place in Chawero during the week. You get yours, bring them here. Yeah. Yeah, and then we taste. No problem. Yeah. Chawero, it's if I'm Kesang, and then I'm on I'm on Chawero and I play. Drop it. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't even call it Chawero, bro. I heard, I don't know if this is true, you can check, fact checker, but I heard when the vendors are coming from Venda, right? Yeah. And the Shangans. Yeah. They, when they rested here, um, this is where they stopped to rest. So they started, that's why they call it Chawero. What does that mean? To place a place of rest. Oh, damn. So damn. Chawero. Chawero. Oh, Chawero. So they were resting. Oh, oh. so Chawero. Chawero means a place to rest. Oh, Chawero. Chawero. Then we gunnize it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Chawera. But it was the vendors and the Shangans. Oh. That first came to Soweto. Wait, Chawero is the oldest hood in Soweto? 
Yes. Wow. And then all the all you all you Zulus came and then, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, that's a mic. What's it? I mean, the first the first hood in Soweto is Midlands. Wow. It's not Shawer. No. Mm-mm. It's Midlands. But it's one of the first. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. Wow, that's a good piece of history right there. Mm. Wow. Where, they, where were they going when they rest in Soweto? Um, <laughs> Minneapolis. <laughs> Like, I don't know. We're exploring. Oh, that's how even the name so it the the vendors and the the, the songers were like so it too now. No, Chavero here, Chavero here, like Chavero here. Okay, so it too now. And then that's it. And then yeah, that's, that's the story. So it too now. That's the story. Chavero here. That's the story, right? <laughs> Let's find out, man, where, oh where they were going God. from the elders there. Find out where they were going. Like, I'm curious. Where would Shavero be there? You know? <laughs> so once we've arrived now in, in Venda, once we've arrived. Roswika. So there would be a Roswika if you guys did it. <laughs> There'd be a Roswika somewhere in Bloom <laughs> if you fuckers didn't decide to Cape Town. rest in Soweto. <laughs> in near Cape Town. <laughs> Roswika. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you checking? Where was the name Chawera in South Africa? Yeah. <laughs> oh damn, we could see what you do. Wow. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, cool. Anyway, Ghost Lady, what else you got for us? Guys, we're aware that it was um Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Wow. No, oh, awarenesses. Who comes up with these things? Yeah. Boyfriend day, girlfriend day. Right. Watch what international like day. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come so on. it's actually. Where is suck my balls day? Yeah. You'll find it. Ah. You'll find that. Um, you know this thing of oversharing on the podcast? It's too much, right? Yeah, it's too much. I'll just try that now. I'll say it. Let's say it, man. We'll understand. <laughs> uh, the reason why I'm saying it is because uh, there's, some chiller, yeah. there's some chiller that comes up to me in yeah. Bloom. They're like, uh, I think my mom said on her podcast that I was conceived in the car. And then I've got a song talking about a car on the album. So they come up to me, they're like, oh, is that why? Rata Koloi, Koloi. Am I right, Jess? Speaking of, speaking of, do you still insist that Shai Mota will replace Mnige? Ah, no, no, no. No. Hey, we follow our lemon. We've seen it. He took back his words. But it was nice when I heard that. You even like Shai Mota. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you the owner. He was a taxi driver. You love driving. I think. Shai I think. Moto, you know. You, you know cost, why? You know. Cost. You know where they fucked up. Shai Moto, the arrangement. If they arranged it better, it could have. Obviously, it's not a nigga. Like no song will touch nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Song. True. Uh, but if the arrangement was better, it would have no. been nicer. Because it starts off right with the chick, ne? Mm. and then they build, they build, they build, then they, it drops. Then it goes back to the chick, and then that guy raps, and then it. Like, I feel like they should have, after, after, so it's the chick, ne? Mm. Build up, chords, drop. Mm. After the drop, they go to the verse. Yeah, Makatin, and then it builds up again, and then it rocks. Because, like, during that part where the, where the chick sings, yeah. and the guy raps, we all just, like, waiting for the drop. <laughs> yeah. mm. oh. Do you get me? So, I think if the arrangement was better. I trust you have a good ear. Yeah, no, I do. I found Tugsin. Oh, did you find him? <laughs> no. Why don't you He's on the queue, man? remember? He's, He's on the queue. Man. Begs in Bambili Mover. Begs in waiting for Tugs to finish all the euphonic stuff. <laughs> ah. Just, do you have Tugs on yourself, man? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Come on, on bro. Queue. You're MacGyver. You're MacG. You'll like, yo. Yeah. You'll respond very fast. Yeah, boy. No, guys. So I was just talking about this um, Cybersecurity Awareness Month and just um, adding that about so many, like, even the South African information regulator mm. has been breached over allegedly over six hundred like times. Damn. Yeah. The South so, African. The South African information regulator. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There so, was another database that was breached. Yeah. It yeah. was no. It was uh, ICT. Uh, one of the 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 the, the, the state secu- the state security agency. Yeah. That. That's what, yeah. There's been so many breaches. Yeah. Even, ICT, one of the credit bureaus where they keep Wuti Umnaga 
etc. Where they blacklist you. That was blacklisted. I think, was it Satrix? What was not Satrix? What am I saying? Mm. It was one of them. I forgot their name. The fact checker will find out, you know. There's been so many breaches. I mean, remember when there was a breach on that dating website and they released uh everyone's names and stuff. What is it? The yes, very famous uh, one. Like Medicines. Medicine, Madden, something oh. like that. You remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, even that. But bro, that's why I say Clarifo is the best cybersecurity in the country, in the world. So, so what does this protect me from? Yeah, how would they protect us? Everything you just mentioned. Hmm. How do you protect them? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he doesn't know, man. <laughs> he just knows good. Everything you just mentioned. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Clarifo, who's with Fazong? Actually, this is when you should be like... Oh, my computer. Let's call him. Who's with Fazong? <laughs> <laughs> what, you want me to read it out? Must I read it out for you? What oh, they do? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, check. Okay. Uh, here we go. Clarifo is one of South Africa's leading cyber security solution providers. It's your company's one-stop shop for information security and information management requirements. That's what I said, though. Did I not say that? Mm. Mm. So shout out to Clarifo. Shout out, man. So they can even protect us individually. Yeah. Individual businesses, businesses, everything. Businesses, everything. Yes, yes. Now I look like a Clarifo ambassador here, man. No. Come on, man. Okay, well, you're giving us answers. You're like, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Adrian Penduka, what else you got for us, my dog? They cancelled the summers. Oh, shit, are they cancelled? Yeah, 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 yeah. 28 million was going to get spent. There was an outcry. People no, gonna... man, I thought they were but not sponsored. apparently sponsoring. they're going to be moved to another... Not sponsored. The government was going to pay yeah. for the summers. MTN walked away from the summers. Dang. Walked away from the yellow carpet. Yes. And they're like, yo, we're good. This is where we hang up. And then government stepped in. But now it was revealed. I was listening to the radio. Mm. Why is baby mama texting me? I was listening to the radio. What did she and say? And then, um, I don't know. Say? Let's see. Your baby mama texts you. Of course, bro. We've got a child together. Yeah. Oh. So you guys are still cordial then? Oh, we have to, bro. For the sake of the kid, bro. Oh, yeah, definitely. What is she saying? It's month end, so... <laughs> so... <laughs> so... <laughs> and the I will keep it tight. Bear, 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 bear. Hey! And she wants nah, money? Nah, nah. She doesn't want money. Be sure. Hey, I need your help. I'm trying to get pizza and the app is not working. Can you please order for us? Thank um, you. It's for me and Laika. Oh, of course. Oh, okay, of Laika. Course. Yeah, but I didn't get respond. I didn't respond because we were... Hmm? Get them two pizzas, man. <laughs> One for each. Yeah. <laughs> no, she must grab the pizza. <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> Drop the pizza. <laughs> pizza, crack the pizza. <laughs> shit. Ah, so shit. Shit. Let her pay it. Guys, let her cook. Let her wait. Let her know my favorite mama. Let her cook. Let her cook. Let her cook. Let her cook. Ah, so. Let her cook. Let her cook. Let her cook. Let her cook. Ah, so. Let her cook. Let her cook. Let her cook. It's your weekend. Let her, Let her cook. cook. Let her cook. No, but she said she got it sorted. The app was giving her problems. Uh, she said now it's fine. So what do you think about the summers here? You were saying? Yeah, man. And so I heard a radio interview. So what happened was the guys organizing the summers went to uh, the Durban government and they asked for eight million. Okay. Chiggy Chiggy government offers twenty, 20 million. million. Mm. They offer twenty million. Right? So now, obviously, when the story breaks, a journalist catches wind of this thing, the story breaks, and the figure we're hearing is 28 million. Yeah, bro? And then that's where people then started. There was an outcry. You know, Guti, this is government money. Uh, however, it's not from the Department of Art and Culture. It's from the Department of Tourism. Oh, so it's 28 because they were going to spend eight, like the original amount, and then keep the 20. Yeah, oh. looks like it. Yeah, that's not far-fetched. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was saying, come on, the government to say it's, it's, pull, it's pulling out. But I find it strange that someone asks eight meter, and when now you give them 20 meter. Yes, it's still going to con, con Ah, no, it's going to be a kill and divide now. Oh, yes. Oh, but oh, yes. you know, oh, yes. come on. Yeah, and then it doesn't, that doesn't, do, any, that doesn't do the industry any good. Let's be honest, man. When people who benefit, it's not even the artists. I mean, how much is the price? Bro, do you think summer? they want the artists to benefit? Come on, be realistic, man. They don't want anyone to benefit but themselves. Yeah, so, so why are you expecting too much, bro? 
افاليو افاليو مساكو اه مساكو مان اوه يا سو نو سامز مان اي ثينك ذي غونا جست بي شيفتد تو سام وي ايلس ميبي ذي ويل كم ذا سامز ستيل ا ثينك نو ذي دونت هاف ا سبونسر ذا مين ثينج از نوت اباوت ديم بينج ان تيربن اتس ا فاكت ذات ذير از نو سبونسر سو ذي فور غفرمنت ناو واز اسك تو اف ذي كود سبونسر ذا سامز ار ذي ستيل ا ثينج ذا سبونسر ذا سامز نوت شير اي مان يو نو فور مي It's it's nice if you you know we see kids still winning who've always dreamt of winning, but even the people who win sometimes it's questionable, and that has made them not a thing. And that's to me. The last time I saw Masama like it was random, like how, you know. So I found never found never found. Yeah. But actually, the people don't really. I want them to watch them. I remember summers we used to like come down and be like, yeah, the summers. You know, on Saturday it's on. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's like, oh, the summers were on. Oh wow, what was record of the year? Then it's a song you've never heard of, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah. whatever. It's the song. It'll be like roads lead to sunset in the weekend. You know, oh, you feel the, the summer used to be times, crazy. Man. You know, went down south when they were held at the parking lot. Yeah, at Monte Cassino was it the parking lot? Yeah, they were once at the parking oh, lot yeah. of, where they had like a whole marquee and thing, and it was like literally Imagine. at the parking lot. All right, it's time for some announcements. Um, I got so many, bro. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's quite a lot, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All hit, right, so. hit me, hit me. Okay, here we go. Podcast and Chill Network is launching its first ever Black Friday special, granting discounts of up to 50% on advertising placements across all our shows. Wow. You can start inqu- inquiring now oh. by reaching out to us at advertising at thisismegg.com. Beautiful. That's number one. All nice. Right. Funded Chillers, are they here? Dudu, are they here? Okay, so fu- our, our Funded Chillers are here. We'll chat to them shortly. Nice. Who, who's our Funded Chillers? We'll chat to them oh, shortly. Oh, the people who got 10... No, no, not who was in... Who are they? It's the people who got 10K. Yeah, the people who won. Who, who won, won the money, who are yeah. the recipients of the money. Yeah, yeah so we raised 19,670 rand this month. 90? 19. 19, 19 one nine, okay. Yeah, so they're each going to get 9,835. Oh, the people who are here are not the winners. They're the pe- they're yet... Oh, I thought they were previous winners. We're going to win them now. Yeah, we're going to announce them. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're going to announce them now. Oh. Yes, Beautiful. Yes, wow. Yes, nice. yes, yes. Um, wow. Instead of doing it over the phone, I think. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I'm Do they know they've won? Yes. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I okay. think they know they've won. Cool. Also, Grand Jura is now available at Boxers in Gauteng. Boxers! Yeah. Yeah. There's only two gins, us and Tank Ray. That's it. Yeah. A box. A boxer. That's it. Yo, 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 and yo, yo, if, yo, yo, if the sales do well in Gauteng, then they're going to put us uh, 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 nationwide. Ah, you're ah, they will do well. Ah, they yeah. will do well. So, ah. Santela, Santela, Pagama Chila, as boxer lento. It's a shalifigile. All right. Get yourself um, a and then, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've decided, my dog. Decide, up, boy. I'm going to drop songs I put my name on volume two. Hi. Yeah, 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 Ne? Yeah, it's a slow bit. Yeah, yeah. It'd but now not. we need songs for the festive. So yeah, if you're a chiller and you're I'm a piano producer, do send me your songs. Nice. Uh music Dope. at this is MacG.com. And then we're gonna drop the songs I put my name on, volume two. Nice and fine. Even you can send me a song, Penduk. I'll send you poison. Yeah. Yeah. Was you taste it on a Soliano? Soliano, Soliano, Anything else I'm missing? Nothing uh, much. Nothing much. Should we check in the prep? Let's check in the prep. If we're missing anything. As well. You know that the High Court has um, ruled that all parents, um, regardless whether they are male or female, should have access to four months for parental leave. So you see how you get maternity leave and, you know. So parents should get four months for? For, uh, it's, 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 it's for par- parental leave. Now it's not just so maternity leave. Or, all parents. Yes. On or earth. maternity leave. Yeah. Why would they put the celebrity boxing match between Zotwa and uh, Manaka? But that man, wasn't even a that, boxing match. Apparently huh? that thing just was a flop though. Yeah, well, what whoever attended know? it deserved it. <laughs> like, really? Come on. Whoever attended it deserved it. Like, if you went to a boxing match of Manaka and 
Zohotua. Zohotua. You deserved whatever was dished out on the day in that ring. Like, it's that simple. End of story, I think. The flashy like, mum Kiza owes tens of millions in unpaid taxes to SARS. SARS. How true is this? Is this a legend or it's like a real story? I think it's a, a real story. I heard someone say that. Uh, uh, so I heard Caesar talk about it. It's how, a real story. How come it's only black people that always owe SARS? You never hear a white person owing SARS. No, I think a lot of white people owe SARS. It's just that sometimes we don't know of these white people yeah. because they're not flashy. They're not fla- oh, they're because not being flashy. flesh and flamboyant is taxing. <laughs> the iron. Yep. Right? And now your business is out there because you've invited people into your life. So when you owe tax, then we know. Lots of white people owe SARS. Mm. I'm pretty sure there was a white guy, you know, uh, with this family, rich, and they've got all these supercars and then they buy a football team and pay them on the pitch when they've performed well in envelopes and they show they're very flamboyant and ostentatious in their show of money and that they have it. We'd know of them. And when SARS pounces, we'd still know of the story. So I think... There's also a lot of black people who owe SARS that we don't know about. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of black I mean, people, you know? You're black ass, smart, yeah. <laughs> 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 I do, do. Hey, I see Violet. Bring the fucking <laughs> chillers. <laughs> bring one by one. Hey, hey, Let's hey. bring the first person. Uh, and yeah, I'm man. Not so loud, so Make sure, please. Uh, Did you? Not so We're still recording, guys. We're still recording. You know that, right? We're still recording. We're still recording. Why are you standing, why are you standing still... up? Why are you getting excited, man? <laughs> this guest, not all guests here are here for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> this guest. All right, so who's this? Who's the first chiller? Coquetto. Coquetto. Catmaster's woman won. Ah, <laughs> you guys imagine. are never busy, mate. Imagine. Uh, PNC is ANC now. What's going on here? Yeah? Podcast and chill. It's ANC. Ah, set up our recording, my man. Set, set up our recording, recording we'll keep it moving, man. We'll keep it moving, this, my man. Time is, money. Oh, Time is mine. Time is mine. Mesh would have been done by now. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> um, uh, what is it? 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 Hey, Cokez, where's Cokez? We're still waiting for Cokez. I'll do oh, the one's taking me off. they're downstairs. Oh, they're downstairs. You should have set them in these couches. So outside, yeah, please yeah. make sure you become a member so we can raise some more money because I think last month we raised more, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, this yeah, is yeah, less. Yeah. yeah, this is less, man. But so you know as, what? For as small as 10 rand, you can become a member. So but when we've got people here, it's going to be more compelling, you know? Because yes. now people will hear and see where the ah, money is Let's not use the chair, bro. They'll stand, man. We don't have time. Yeah. They'll stand, man. Oh, it's not Catmaster's woman. Coquetto! Coquetto! Come in, come in, come in, come in. Come stand here, come stand here, come stand here. Come stand here. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Let me say hi, man. Let me say hi. Am I dreaming? Ah, so, so, get up. Can you pass? Yeah, yeah. I've got a bigger stomach. Stomach. I see she's pregnant, but I got a bigger stomach. Damn, are you pregnant? Okay, so are you pregnant? Yeah, 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 yeah. Coquetto is pregnant. Hi, how are you, Coquetto? Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Put in the scene, Coquetto. Oh, wow. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, man. Thank you, man. So, this is what it says about Coquetto. Yeah. Coquetto. Is a single mother who lost a job last year. She has been making ends meet by selling scones. She has not been able oh, to pay school. school fees for a child in grade two. So you oh. got a grade two in another one. School. Yes. <laughs> uh, the school has taken legal action against you. Why? What, what school is this? What school is this taking it's, legal action uh, against Jorko parents? Primary school. What? Clorco. Clorco primary, primary school. school. Clorco. But sounds like an African school. Uh, I think it used to be. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So it's what? It's what? Uh, what, you lost your job last year. What were you last doing? Last year, June. Um, I was a healthcare worker. Uh, it was a contract based, but it was for five years. So unfortunately, last year, they let us go. So yeah, they couldn't renew our contract. And the scones, how are the scones going? Yeah, it's cool. Ah, you How's guys. How's <laughs> 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 I'm a scones, load shading. Oh, yeah. Oh, scones. Uh, yeah, economy now. I'm a kind of novel in my lean. So, yeah, oh, the business, I wasn't doing good. So, um, yeah. So, what are you, you still do? baking? But in the oven. 
So, 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 so. Wow. <laughs> so, Manje, what are you doing? How do you survive? Um, Manje, I'm just studying. I'm a student at UNISA. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool, man. So congratulations. You won 9,835. Thanks to the chillers. Wow. How's that going to help you? Congrats. I'm going to pay my daughter's school fees. Yeah. Yo. How much do you owe there? Uh, 9,500. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> and so said you pay for next year. Full year, you don't have to worry. It's on him. That's why I push an encounter. Why fall? Why fall? What is 280 degrees? We have a pattern of school fees. Congratulations to Koketso Malu Leke. Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Sweet. All right, cool. Let's get the next one. Shout out. Private school, school. Is it a private school? Oh, smart. No, it's not a private school and they. Okay, Club next Club one. Guys, we must talk about Clock Up. It's not even a private school. And no, they... it's a government oh, sorry. School. Oh, yeah. It's a government school. <laughs> no, but government dog... school opening cases for parents who can't afford fees. What is this? Yeah, but what is they supposed to do? It's their business, bro. Yeah. Hey, man. It's a... Come on, man. They don't care. That's their business. Come on, man. Oh, hmm? the best. So, I don't know. It's opening wounds. This thing yeah. of parents and school fees. Opening wounds, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, please welcome Zibuya Mudao. Zibuya, Zib, 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 Zibuya Mudao. But dude, we can't have too many vendors winning, man. Zibuya Mudao. Yes, we, 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 we can't have too many vendors winning. It's going to seem like this. For nepotism. Congratulations, well done, Thank you so much. It says here, yeah, you're a student and a self-taught <laughs> nail technician who would like to use the money to upskill yourself by enrolling in a training course and also buying equipment for further to further your business. Yes, oh. yes, 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 yes. Shout out, man. Nice, nice. Thank Shout you so out, much. Man. Congratulations, you won 9,835. Is that going to help? It is going to help. And then um, when I'm done with my studies, that means now, now I can be able to um, advance my skill and get more clients and also be able to pay for my um, board exams because the course that I'm doing now, um, when I'm done, I need to pay for my sunk um, board exams. So nice. that will also help towards Aww. that. Yeah. Uh, how, who's got better nails, me or so? No, you do. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No. I bite my nails. Yeah, bro. but let's see. Let me see. Look, guys, look. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I mean, look, come on, obviously. There's nothing. Yeah, there's literally nothing. There's okay. no nails. She has better nails here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, I bought hey, my nails. I'm glad I cut them I'm yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Beautiful nail beds, by the way. Thank you, man. Nail beds. They don't what's even know bed? what's a nail bed. <coughs> so, a nail bed. Okay. Yours you are know, finished. Mean, so. My nails are bed. There's no nail bed. <laughs> what's a nail bed? <laughs> <laughs> okay, a nail bed is like a structure, like the arch of your nail. Hmm. Yes, the the way your nail is structured, um, which means now a nail can actually like stick, and like yeah, you see. Oh, it's fine. I don't need to stick nails. I mean, ah, I'm away. The movenda, the movenda, the big one, Ive. A big one. Yes, <laughs> a big one. Oh, I, I got that. I got, oh, I got that. okay. Yes. Now, the word why why she visit her? Do you know what's called Chawer? No, I don't know. Oh, so Maybe I'm a bigger you can enlighten than you. me. I'm a bigger vendor than you. And then you can enlighten me. Why do they call it Chawer? Because uh, I'm a vendor and I'm a song. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. But you don't know where they were going. <laughs> 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 okay. What does your name mean? Um, Zobuwe. Zobuwe yeah, means goodness. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I thought maybe you were going to translate it for me and say Ziabuwe or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, get something like yeah, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Yeah, it like means that. goodness. Who's your, which means goodness. Apart from me and Sol, who's, and Ghost Lady, who's your favorite cast member here on, on the podcast? Yeah. What? Meg G. <laughs> it's Meg G. Oh, I said apart from me. And, oh, no, apart from you. Yes. Me, Sol, and Ghost Lady. Who else here do you like? Um... Tato, who's Tato? Yeah! Tato! Tato! I see you, Jama Tato. Where do you do your nails? Where's your business? In Chawera, I'm based in um, Deep Kloof. So now we know where Tato's going to be. Yeah. 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 Where's the messy, poor boy? 
And he does his nails now. Some buff and shine, eh? Yes. yes. <laughs> Zabudi, thank you so much, man. Zibuya, thank you so much Sorry. for this Zibuya, opportunity. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you just fumbled. Something. What does that mean? Zabudi is something nice. Something nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair. Zabudi. Zabudi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Teach something. Teach him some vendor. He says, "I'm teaching my vendor. brother." Teach him some vendor there. Techeri seni. Listen to me. Techeri seni. Techeri seni. Do they need being? Ah ah no no no. That sounds like you said I'm gonna fuck you. Yeah yeah. Oh being, I'm so being. Well, I even I'm so being. I'm so being. The day in terms of being, you can hear it with that laugh. It sounds dangerous. That's right. aggressiveness. Yeah, it's a round of applause for Zibu. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, man. Sweet. Sweet. Come on, man. Let's let's get to 30,000 next month, bro. Yeah, let's get to 30,000. I'm going to have... Three children. We're gonna have three of, of these stories. You, you know, know what I mean? mean? Like, yeah. oh, these are. I like that they come. Now yes. it makes more like when you see where the money's going. You exactly. know what I mean? Like, yeah. you see people going through challenges and whatever. They need assistance. It's and, unfortunate if like someone's in Cape Town, then we'll have to call them. But yes, yeah. if they're in Cape Town, yeah, yeah, sadly, right. Yeah. But if they're around, man, definitely we'll, you know. Hey man, we out here, man. What a, man, I haven't enjoyed a show like this in a while, dude. For real, Aww. bro. Damn, bro. Was, yeah, we had fun. Uh, last week I was tired. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I we could just tell. got back from Yeah, we we'll, so, we'll just yeah. gone back. I'm thinking of me. quitting to DJ because of that, eh? Yeah, you you can't take it, eh? Hi, dog is training. It's Matrix, bro. oh, he's up at night and he sleeps at three o'clock. Ah, forget it. <laughs> yeah. When he comes, he's dead. Yeah, shame, bro. But you can't yeah, do it. That's a no, good no, idea. but Mac, you can't do it only if you do not, if you limit your your alcoholism. But he can't drink. He can't DJ sober. He can, but he doesn't like. He doesn't enjoy it. So. Man, That's, how can Mac be out and not drink? That's another no, thing. No, no, he can't drink, but it just limits his alcohol intake. And you've said this before, where you're like, I was I was, I was, was DJing last night, but I'm good because I only drank so far. Uh-huh. So you can't uh-huh. do it. It's like once every six months. You must uh-huh. be Mac's road manager. It's like, you know what's up, you know? Oh. That's yeah. why I hate uh, Friday gigs. That's why I don't take gigs on Fridays. Because yeah. I'm fresh. Saturday, do the show. Ah, then I can drink as much because then I can sleep the whole of Sunday. You mm-hmm. get me? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. recover. But that's bad, Mac, because you always say your issue is that when you start drinking, you can't stop. But when you tell yourself to stop, then you're good. So the issue, so it's not like you can say, no, if as long as I'm not working the next day, it's still bad for you. You can't drink and just not stop. Well, so I already just... sent you, ne? No. And I, I, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to find the chawero <laughs> of his alcohol journey. Yes, <laughs> That's it. We're here, man. Podcasts and chill. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Even if when they ask you, how Sabin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistibi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.